Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Minecraft. So, um, it's been a while. Sorry about that for those of you who uh, missed my Minecraft vids. But, I'm, I'm ready to get back into it. So, let's just take some diamonds and let's get, let's get right back at it. <sighs> I've still got quite a few achievements le left to go, but eventually I'll have them all done and I just cannot wait for that. There we go. Put those on and let's head out. Head back to the nether. Actually, wait, I need a diamond pick too. And one thing I'm also gonna do before I start is I'm actually gonna uh, exit real quick and I'm gonna put the game in peaceful because I don't feel like having the game in the same way it did last time where, you know, gas just straight up destroyed my nether portal. Right now, all I want is to just get to level 30, and, um, yeah, that's all I want. So, we're gonna put it in peaceful for now. My goal is to just get the trophies. I don't really care how I get them, though. I just want them all, because I, I need them. I live for them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright. To the nether way, let's get a flint and steel. Why? I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I just don't feel secure if I don't bring one. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Come on, give me some flint. Come on, yeah, that's what I want. Alright, let's grab a bit of iron. Alright, let's make a flint and steel and let's head out. And I'm literally just trying to get to level 30 so I can enchant my diamond sword. Yeah, entering the nether. Oh my god, this spawn is different. Why, why, why? Did it actually give me my real spawn? Really? I'm shocked. Alright, so, um... I'm just gonna look around for some nether quartz. It's gonna be just a pretty easy kind of episode. Just me looking around trying to get to level 30. So, how's life going for you guys? I'm hoping it's going pretty good. Hopefully, you know, you didn't get hit by a car yesterday. Um... By the way, thank you so much for uh, 500 subscribers. We're halfway to our goal of a thousand, and you guys make it possible. So, thank you very much. Hmm. All right, almost to level seven. Hmm. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to level. <coughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get to level 30 by the end of this episode. And if I'm not, I'm going to grind a little bit off camera. And that's okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Finding tons of this stuff. Now, another thing that I'm going to have to do in this series is fight the Ender Dragon, which I'm semi-looking forward to. It's going to be hard, because, you know, it's very easy to lose to him. But it's also going to be fun. Now, uh, if you guys don't know what the Ender Dragon is, um, basically it's just the boss fight you fight at the end of the game. Now, there is actually one fight that I would say, or consider, is just a little bit harder than the Ender Dragon, and that is the Wither fight, the fight with the uh, the actual Wither, not 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 just any Wither skeleton. I mean the actual Wither, and the way you spawn a Wither is different than how you get to the Ender Dragon. I mean, to get to the Ender Dragon, you need you need to uh, collect the eyes of ender and stuff and find the end portal but with the wi wither that's different the wither you spawn it in by getting soul sand and forming it in the shape of a T and then you put um you put um wither heads on top of it and uh, it spawns a wither now the wither <laughs> is very strong and 
the only reason I say it's harder than the Ender Dragon is because it has the effect of Wither. And Wither is just, it's painful. Unless you have, you know, like, super golden apples and you're incredibly overpowered, then it's going to be pretty hard. Damn. No, no mobs, it's so peaceful. Yeah, halfway there. Hopefully I'll be able to enchant by the end of this episode. Yeah, level 16. Oh, I'm over halfway there. I really hope you guys like my new mic, by the way. It, it's not, it's kind of a cheap one. And, uh, I tried to get a better one, but it, there was a piece missing and I couldn't use it. And it sucked, because it was a really good mic. Alright, almost to level 30. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Watching me mine nether quartz. Now this is one of the more boring grinding parts of Minecraft. Where, you know, you're literally just trying to get XP. But I'm really glad they added nether quartz. Because it made it, literally, they made it actually possible to get to a high level. Sorry for all the stuttering too. Like me no speak your words. I, I, it's not working right today. Oh god. Rem remember kids, the white stuff is always uh it's always pretty fun. Oh, I'm so close to level 20. God, there's so many pockets of the pockets of this stuff. Like, I mean, it's so easy to level up. Ah, but this feels so painfully boring. Boom, boom. There you go. Yeah. Okay, level 21. I'm almost there. You received an invitation. Cool. I'm so glad. I'll make sure to check that out in a minute. But for now, I've I've just got to keep keep mining this Nether quartz until I'm done. Which is going to be never, because this takes forever to mine. Hmm. There's my portal, but I can't find any more nether quartz. I'll find some in a minute. Ooh. I'm not, into, I'm not very much into that, so... Golden apple powers away! Yes. So cool. Did you guys know swag means secretly we are gay? I know, right? Illuminati confirmed. I don't even know what the f what the f what the hell I'm talking about right now. See guys, I didn't cuss that time. I, I almost did, but I didn't. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, well screw you then. You know, sometimes I feel like um if somebody saw me recording a video and there was no context, they would think I'm a crazy person. They would take me in a straight jacket and put me in one of those put me in one of those loony bins that you'd see in one flew in the cuckoo's nest. And then they'd uh, do that. <laughs> they okay, I'm going too far. It's kind of messed up now. I wonder if any of you guys have ever seen that movie though. In that movie, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Um a guy named Jack Nicholson, who's not technically insane, he's just, uh, very violent. He, um, I believe he gets charged over, like, having sex with a minor. Or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. But, anyways, they think he's crazy. So they send him over to this institution, and, like, he's not really crazy, but, like, 
like he's pretty smart too so like he uh he helps everybody learn a little something and um he becomes like everybody's hero and he becomes friends with uh this this big indian man named chief now chief is um chief's pretty cool chief's a nice guy chief's a nice guy but he never but he never he pretty much never talks but he's friends with giant nicholson and it's cool up until you get later on to the movie all right Jack Nicholson is preparing to escape the uh, the place, but the night before he does, he helps one of the people. Um, he helps one of the the guys there get get laid, and the nurse sees this and um, she stops it from happening. And this makes Jack Nicholson so mad that he strangles her, and he's so close to killing her. But what ends up happening is that. He she he gets uh, taken off her and uh, elect and they shock his brain so he really can't think for himself anymore. So um, it's toward this part of the movie where uh, Chief starts to you know like go on his own. So he sees what Jack Nicholson has become, all right, and um, he's just a vegetable at this point. He he might as well not even be alive. So Chief takes a pillow. And just smothers him. He kills him, but it's a mercy killing because he doesn't want Jack Nicholson to have to suffer. Like I mean, Jack Nicholson is so brain dead that he doesn't even really fight back when he's dying. It's so sad. But um, Chief, all right. Chief, 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 Chief. Chief takes uh the water fountain that's in the, that's near the rest restroom and um he throws it out the window all right he throws it out the window and um yeah and it ends up you know literally <laughs> he, he he just ends up escaping and that's pretty much the end of the movie and it's a sweet movie but at the same time it's very sad oh, what other movies could i talk about while i'm doing nothing hmm I guess I could talk to you guys about The Shining. If you guys have never seen The Shining, I'll, I'll be pretty surprised. But it's a movie from the 1980s, directed by Stanley Kubrick. It's a pretty cool movie. Um, it starts out with a uh, this guy named Jack Nicholson, who I was literally just talking, literally just talking about. God, what do I even grammar? Um, anyways, he uh he decides to uh he he decides to uh take care of this uh this little hotel over the winter and um... well what ends up happening is uh... well let's just say he goes a little bit crazy he buys it and uh... his, his uh... his wife and his son go there and well i would love to tell you guys more i'm running out of time so i'm unfortunately going to have to end the episode here but i will be sure to tell you about the rest of the movie in the next part of uh, Trophy Hunt, if you guys were interested. And if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys on the next one.